Truth Unveiled here, and today I have a lot of information to share with you. I'm going to be talking about all of the satanic rituals that have been going on because there's just too much going on and you need to understand exactly where we're living and exactly what's about to take place because there's just too much going on. But I'm here at a report from Fox that says, After School Satan, Satanic Temple could be coming to a school near you. Did you hear that? And you've probably seen this already, but it's important that you understand exactly what all of this means. The report itself says that the Satanic Temple will begin petitioning this fall to set up after-school programs at public elementary schools around the country. The Satanic Temple's co-founder, Doug Messner, who goes by the name Lucian Greaves, told the Washington Post that their goal is to counterbalance Christian after-school programs. It's critical that children understand that there are multiple perspectives on all issues and that they have a choice in how they think. Messner said, or more like they're coming after your children, literally. The After School Satan website, which features the slogan Educating with Satan, says that the programs will focus on free inquiry, rationalism, and science. Despite the organization's name and imagery, the Satanic Temple does not believe in a literal Satan or supernatural beings of any kind. That's what they're telling you. According to the Temple, Satan is merely a metaphorical construct to represent the rejection of all forms of tyranny over the human mind. Do you really believe that? Because that's all it is, more mind control. We see exactly what's going on. And in case you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you look up the Baphomet statue so you can see exactly what this country was really founded on and that this is nothing new. The Illuminati has just turned 240 this year and newsflash, this nation is an Illuminati Freemasonic nation. And I hope you see that with both your eyes open. They even have and feature a website dedicated to all this nonsense, and you can even see it here. Listen, the time to awaken out of that slumber and the time to awaken to the reality of where your country is and where your country is headed is now, because I'm telling you, this is some real serious stuff. I'm not making this stuff up. And when you realize how close we really are to the end, then you'll start to understand exactly where all of this is headed, because the new world order is even at the door. Heck, the new world order is even here but it goes on to even try to say how satanism is justifiable in the schools because they're coming after your children just like the pied piper and my hope is that you see that and if you can get your kids out of the schools quick in fact get out of the educational system quick because it's all just a brainwashing tool used by the zionist elite Oh, but that's not all. They're literally telling you exactly what they do. And if you knew what they did behind closed doors, oh my goodness. But I'm here at Washington Post and it says, Satanists open city council meeting and well, just watch. And there's a video. I'm going to leave the helpful information in the description box below so you can see it for yourself. But it's interesting when the report says that David Sewer from the Satanic Temple delivered a unique invocation after several minutes of protester disruption at a Pensacola City Council meeting on July 14. And that wasn't the only time because if you can recall back from June of 2016, here's a report from LA Weekly that even says Satanists plan to celebrate 6616 in Los Angeles. And I hope you see exactly where all of this is headed and how it's even going to be seen with the Olympics and all of what's coming because it's only a matter of time. The Satanic New World Order is here and I hope you're paying attention to it. And my sole purpose with this video right now is to awaken Awaken you to truth if you're not already awakened to it so you can see exactly what they're planning for and what they're getting ready for. Now hopefully you can recall but if you remember the Arch of Triumph was unveiled and unleashed in the London at the Trafalgar Square back on April 19th. 20th and 21st for three days around the same time as we saw the ritual of the queen's birthday not to mention prince dying as well what were they really trying to tell you that the fake prince was dead and that the counterfeit prince was actually rising what prince do you think that's really talking about purple rain which rain do you think it really is who do you think's raining on the earth right now but he knows that his time is almost up i hope you're seeing it 
But the reason I'm sharing this with you is because the Arch of Triumph is also supposed to be going to not only New York, but also to Dubai. So yes, it's going to make its way to America. And yes, I don't care what they tell you, this is the Arch of Baal, literally. And I hope you see that because it even says that next the Arch will go to Dubai, then New York, and back to its homeland of Palmyra, where it will stand somewhere next to the original, according to Roger McHale. The Arch traveling around the world for the inspiration of so many will serve as an ongoing reminder of all that was lost to include 280 who were executed during the claiming of the city and how we must continue to fight remember those lost and to save history for future generations in whatever way possible that's why they're doing this or could they be doing this because they're literally telling you what time it really is but the biggest satanic ritual is actually about to take place in just a few hours from now. And yes, I'm talking about the Rio Olympics 2016. The 31st games are set for the opening ceremony. And mind you, billions of people are going to be tuning in. And in case you haven't already seen the satanic ritual that was done at the London Olympics back in 2012, there was a phoenix rising out of the ashes at that Olympics. Hello, do you know what that symbolizes? And in case you also didn't know, this week just so happens to be 777 weeks after 9-11. What time do you think it really is? It's not just the 666. Oh no, it's all over the place. And these Satanists have not been doing things for 6616. It's been the entire year and previous years before that. But it even says here that the 31st Olympic Games officially start in Rio on Friday with the opening ceremony at the Maracana Stadium. So in just a few hours from now, athletes from 206 nations and a refugee team are in Brazil to compete in 31 sports and be watched by a worldwide audience of billions. The buildup has been dominated by a Russian doping scandal, the so-called Zika virus, and issues with the country's security security, infrastructure, and venues, as well as the city of Rio de Janeiro. But it is time for the sporting action to take center stage as the first Olympics in South America begin. Now, it's interesting when it says that the games officially take place between the 5th and 21st of August, but they were actually already started. And this part I thought was interesting, too, where it says that the opening ceremony is at midnight BST on Friday night, but the action kicked off two days ago with the women's football. And we know how symbolic midnight really is to the elite. Now, as you can see, here's a picture of the Olympic Stadium that's located in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. And as you can see, here's a picture of the stadium. And the reason that I'm showing you this is because what do you see when you take a look at this? What is the very first thing that you see? What tends to stick out in this picture? Well, what sticks out like a store thumb to me is the stadium itself. Because as you can see, it looks like a pentagram. Which can only mean that we're going to see yet again another satanic ritual. How is it going to go? We don't know. We just have to wait until it happens. But I'm telling you, the elite don't just do these things for no reason. It's time that you see what's right in front of you. Because it's only going to get worse from here, and that is just the honest truth. Now, here's an aerial view of the Olympics and all the stadiums, and as you can see, it looks very interesting and suspicious indeed, because when I first look at this, I see a triangle pattern right here. I also see what looks to be and what appears to be a serpent pattern right there, as well as what also reminds me of the Illuminati pyramid and the triangle symbolism. We have that going on there. Not to mention the Kundalini reference as well which you can find in Kabbalah I'm telling you it's all satanic it's another satanic ritual and it begins in just a few hours from now not to mention how this was the Illuminati's 240th birthday as well as legalized pedophilia in Canada and no I'm not making that up either not to mention the Georgia Guidestones that are in Georgia even as we speak the very first one that caused for depopulation of the plane to 500 million which automatically reminded me of the satanic ritual that took place exactly two months ago actually with the Switzerland tunnel and the grand opening of the Switzerland tunnel and if you remember from my video two months ago I talked about how these dancers right here they represent what the CERN dance as well and the CERN dance of destruction literally the Shiva dance of destruction opening up of portals literally 
And like I said, the fact that they just so happen to be releasing these after school Satan programs around the same time as the Olympics, which is the biggest satanic ritual you'll see, not to mention how it's just so happens to be 777 weeks after 9-11. Oh my goodness. Please seek Yahuwah and his true son Yahusha because too much is going on. Now, will anything big happen at the Olympics? I don't know. Only time will tell, but I'm just here to keep you updated with the truth. This is Truth Not Veld here saying shalom.